Throughout the years, we've been building 3D buildings from 2D drawings, and that didn't make sense. We should build 3D buildings from 3D data. We started to do 3D models to build the buildings that's 3D. Finally, we can actually deliver 3D buildings with 3D data uh, accompanied with it, providing clients with data that they can actually use for many years to come. Tandem models open a great door for us to analyze data and providing our clients with the latest and greatest in efficiencies in construction. Digital twin technology like Tandem is going to be a game changer for facilities management. Having a digital twin of a building is a real benefit to us. Rather than having a manual remotely someplace, the manual is wherever I am. We've been really excited about it, being able to take our fully coordinated model and design model all the way through construction, but then being able to hand it off at the very end. Our clients and the end users know exactly what they get. It's really important to realize the difference between what's a model and what's a digital twin. What really makes a digital twin a digital twin, not a buzzword, is the data embedded into it. The handover gap in building construction has always been a problem. The amount of information that's been going in, especially in BIM modeling in the last 20 years, hasn't always transferred over to the facilities end of things. The aha moment for our clients is when we delivered digital twins for them in tandem. Tandem allow us to do something we didn't do before. Embed all this information rich data into the model. We wanted to kick off this technology with our Philips Exeter Academy new dormer project. Facilities management supports the mission of the school at Philips Exeter and learning that we do here. We have buildings that are 200 years old, plus we have buildings that have a lot of old blueprints. We have things that are built in older methods. It's very difficult to understand all the systems of the building quickly. We like to think that handover is the end of the process. For our clients, it's really the beginning of their life cycle. Facility managers can, in their offices, open the tandem model and have all the information. And the most powerful thing is that it's very easy to use. At any given time, anyone can look and see the journey that this building has been on as it's come together. And they understand why decisions possibly were made with systems, whatever they may be, and be able to see the performance. I'm really looking forward to having the IoT sensors within the tandem model. I can know that something's going to be operating out of the parameters what it's supposed to operate in, so I can keep my building operating more efficiently. We can track building performance data, the real-time IoT sensors really supporting how we can analyze this data and connect to the real world. We have been really, really excited about the feedback we've received from our clients about utilizing the digital twin and the tandem software. And they see the benefits of it. They understand that that technology rich model is at their fingertips and that mechanics or their facilities people there's no questions when they open a wall or they go to look at a system that that's actually how it's built. Tandem is going to allow us to be successful in operating facilities effectively. Finally we can transform the handover process and provide our clients with this information rich data easy to use so they can utilize it and support the future facility maintenance. Our plan is to make this a standard in delivering the projects. Without us taking an action now and start building real digital twins, we're gonna still be behind other industries in tackling issues such as global warming, sustainability, and making sure that everything works as efficient as possible. I think Tandem's going to lead the way into the future of seeing what we can do to maintain facilities easier with better information.